In this video, I will show how to find the F alpha for the most common alphas used in applications. To find the F alpha, we are going to use what's called the F table. Uh, in our case, we're looking for F 0.995 with 8 and 4 degrees of freedom. However, the F table doesn't provide the answers for alphas um, this big. So in order for us to answer this question, we're going to use first what's called the reciprocal property of F curves. So that means that F um, 0.995 is actually equal to the reciprocal of this value. So I simply subtract 0.995 from 1 to obtain that value. Um, however, that's not the only change. The degrees of freedom also um, change. So instead of 8.4, we now have to look for the F value, F alpha for 4.8 curve. And to find that value, we're simply going to look for the um, column associated with DFN4 and we're going to look for the row associated with DFD8 and at the intersection we are going to look for the value uh, that corresponds to alpha 0 0.005 which is 8.8 81. So that's the number which goes here in the denominator. So we still have to find the reciprocal of that number. So dividing 1 by 8.81 gives us 0.1135, which is the answer to the original question.